What's up guys, Ryan Knows Tech here with TechInform.us. I want to make a video that I've wanted to make for a long time and I've never gotten around to it. It's about renaming many different files within the same folder or location on your hall, on your hard drive, solid state drive, whatever. Renaming many files within a folder um, like you could in Windows. With Windows, you could open a folder. I've got a folder on my desktop right now called Test uh, Folder where I've just put in a whole bunch of... Um, Seinfeld episode two, uh, I guess, thumbnails for the episodes that I have. And look at the titles of these. I mean, the, Seinfeld, is, it's, it's pretty uh, unorganized. So if I wanted to come in here with Windows, I could select all of them, rename, and then just rename it Seinfeld and have it put a one in parentheses after it or dot one dot JPEG or whatever, Seinfeld dot one dot JPEG, Seinfeld dot two dot JPEG, and so on. In OS 10, you can't actually rename more than one at a time. I'd have to come over here one by one and type all of those. Well, if you've got a folder with a lot of items in it, that can be a big pain. I don't know why OS 10 can't handle this better. It, technically, it can, but it's not real easy to do. And that's what this video is about. We're going to have to use software built into OS 10 called Automator. It is not the easiest, most intuitive thing to to uh, to learn how to use. So just follow me step by step, and we should be fine. So uh, open Spotlight, uh, you know, the search bar in the top right, which is Command Space Bar, and type in Auto Automator will probably be the first thing that comes up. Go ahead and open it, and we're going to want to create a new workflow here. So select Workflow, and then click on Choose, and we want to add a couple different things here. Notice we have a uh, search box that says Name in it. Here's what we're going to add. First, we need to type in Ask for Finder Items. There it is, one thing came up. Double click on that, now we have our ask for finder items. The next one we want to add is rename. If you just type in rename, there it is, rename finder items. Double click on that. Now we have them in that order. Uh, working with the ask for finder items thing up here first. Uh, you need to tell it where the folder is that you're going to be playing with. So mine happens to be on my desktop. You could come over here to other, browse anywhere on any connected drives to your machine and uh, just tell it where the folder is. Don't select the folder itself, just where that folder is. Is it files, is it folders, files and folders, tell it what it is. And most likely, you're going to want to click on allow multiple selection. You probably want to rename more than one thing. If you don't, and you're going to rename just one thing, then it's a lot easier just to click the enter key and type what you want um, than, than using this. The second one, it may show up as add date or time. Well, if you click this drop down menu here, you may want to name that folder or item within a folder, a date or time, maybe just some text, change the case on it, make sequential. That's what I'm going to want to do right now. And that'll just allow us to give it a name like Seinfeld.1.jpg. So uh, we're going to make a new name here. Check that uh, little circle for new name. We're going to make our name Seinfeld. And then we're going to place a number after the name, number starting at 1, separated by a dash, period, space, underscore, or nothing. This is completely up to you what you choose. Notice we have an example down here at the bottom where my mouse cursor is right now. And that would be Seinfeld dash 1. Well, it dash 1. Let's make it uh, dot 1, Seinfeld dot 1 dot JPEG. The XXX is just going to be our uh, file extension. Uh, we could make numbers two digits long if we wanted to, so now it's zero, 01, but we could also put in 100 digits, and there's 100 digits, that, that'd be stupid. So we're just going to make it one. And uh, when we have all that set up, in the top right-hand corner of the Automator window, click on Run. This is going to begin the execution. Notice it now opens up to that folder that we told it under the Ask for Finder items. Starting at Desktop, you probably could have selected anything and then navigated where you wanted to, but I just told it to go to the Desktop. Now we need to open that folder that uh, we're going to be working with and select everything that we want to rename. If we only select one item, it's only going to name one item. So you might just do Command A on the keyboard or as I did, drag out and select everything in the folder you want to rename. Click on choose. It is amazingly quick. It says 27 seconds. That's because I stood here and babbled for 27 seconds. But it is very fast. Go ahead and open that folder now and notice that everything in it is named how we want. If we copy these items and just duplicate a whole bunch of them, we've got 65 items, 104. We'll go up to about 200 different items in this folder. There's 208. We'll close it. Now we'll come back over here. Now we'll name it Seinfeld. We'll put the number before and we'll use an underscore to separate it. Uh, we'll make numbers two digits, actually three digits long, starting the numbers at one. We'll click run, browse the folder, select everything again, choose, and it, there it did. It just named 208 items in about three seconds there. So if we open this up, 
there's all 208 perfectly labeled. So this could be really helpful for uh, maybe a photographer that's got a crap ton of different photos that wants to rename them within Finder. Uh, I hope this is useful. There's a lot of different things you can use um, Automator for to do. This is really the only one that I've learned how to do. But if you play in here, be careful that you can probably screw some stuff up or, of course, use Google to help you with other things. Anyways, hope I helped. Thanks for watching the video. Our site's techinform.us. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And my Twitter is twitter.com slash James I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.